Hello everybody, and welcome to a blind, or quasi-blind, Let's Play of Secret of Mana. I'm Ryu Shikaze, aka Tim, and I'm joined by the blind player... Hermie, aka Quaylin. No, you do not have to say that right the first time. Quibbles, QB, oh. the quarterback, many <laughs> other names will be provided. I like armchair quarterback best. Okay. <laughs> That's good for an armchair thing. <laughs> I never have to do anything, but I get all of the credit. <laughs> all right. New game. It's your file, your name. But it's gonna be my name because I'm completely unoriginal. <laughs> okay, whoever whoever we find is the second character will get to be me. <laughs> uh, which could be weird because it might be the girl, it might be the sprite. Right, I'll start. All of this happened in the previous game, don't worry about it. <laughs> was there a previous game? Yes, uh, the first, it, we got it as Final Fantasy Adventure. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's getting a remake, which I think just released for the Vita. The Vita? Yeah. Yeah, that actually did come out to America, which was nice. Yes. After they <laughs> were like, what do you mean? You can buy it on the iPhone <laughs> and the Android. Nobody has a Vita, in which they aren't wrong, however. However, it's nice that there's, you know, for the, for the five of us who have a Vita or a, or a PSTV. There's an option. Yes. The world is peaceful. But a time flows like a river, and history repeats, and history repeats, and history repeats. Alright, 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 uh, let's turn this record on. Yeah. <laughs> End of side A. We're mode 7 your way across the map. You've got a mode 7 your way across the map. <laughs> oh. We're turning the volume down just a little. No problem. Just so we don't show up with an echo on our system. Mm. And if there is one, I apologize, folks. I'll try and edit it out if there is one. Shiny. It's the downside of having this spectacular surround system <laughs> for my computer. It's gotta be treasure. There's no way this can be. I, I, oh. like, I like how oh. I'm falling is just you oh. dancing for a second. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh shit, trouble. Bye. What's up there? Fuck it, let's bail! <laughs> and he died, the end. <laughs> what a beautiful... What a beautiful moving story. <laughs> you actually have control. You can now run using the A button. Oh, wow, that's nice to Yeah. Uh, that technically eats up, for lack of a better word, we'll call it your meter. You'll see what I mean later. Mm -hmm. um, every attack in this game is... Uh, you have to charge up. You can't, like, it's an action RPG, mm. but if you keep just mashing the button, you won't have any power. Oh, uh, okay. So, you need to wait until you at least get a 100% charge. Yeah, so it's kind of like a stamina meter? Not exactly a stamina meter, um, because, I mean, you, it, it definitely oh. goes down after every attack, but it goes down to zero and then builds back up. Mm, okay. It's more like waiting for your round to come up in D&D. &D. Okay. I'm just an innocent child. Nothing terrible is going to happen to me. I, I know my... Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm, yeah. Oh, no. I, I, I fully endorse the I know where I'm going. Let's go the wrong way. Did I ever tell you about the time when I was playing uh, Xenogears, decided I'm going to do that, realized I was going in the right direction, went through <laughs> half a dungeon just to take the other fork in the road? Yeah, I'd, I'd do that too. Like, is this, was, is, is, this the path, is this the lighted path that they want me to go to? I'm going to go the complete opposite direction, find nothing at the end of the corridor, but at least I've explored it? Yes. <laughs> Hello, significant figure who told me nothing of importance. You certainly won't be plot relevant at all. They never are in JRPGs. 
Now, to explain what's going on, um, as, as mentioned, uh, Hermie is playing this blind. I have played the game before, but I'm going to try and keep all of my um, assistance to a minimum. So, I'm not going to give, you know, you know, directions or explain plot details uh, until they've already happened. So, no hints. And eventually I'm going to join in. This is going to be multiplayer as soon as uh, another character comes in. I have spoiled that there are multiple characters. Well, I always knew that there were multiple characters. Yeah. I mean, you can't get this far into playing video games without knowing what secret of Lana is. Yeah. Like, Do I find money in the top of No, no. You'll get money every time um, you kill a monster. Every and occasionally they will drop items. Like every time I kill these adorable creatures. The rabbi gets the spawn of you. But perhaps not as bad as the spabite. Um, it's a spider rabbi. Um, or is it just... it's just, um, you will automatically dodge attacks, um, based on a roll. Um, like, literally, you've got stats. And yeah. Not everything that you see, you just did it right there. Also, you know how you're only doing one damage mm -hmm. when you wait? So if you... Wait for it to be the full way, you'll do a lot more damage than that. And then later on, we'll get into a whip in the camp. See? That's, oh, okay. Yeah. So, you want to at least wait until you've got the dink. Mm -hmm. And so, using an attack or using your damage will set your, da your meter to zero. And then it. This is completely blind. I have not watched any LPs. I know the bare minimum of this game that people love Secret of Mana, uh, and that it has very good music. Uh, she, she probably knows more about the soundtrack than I do, but nothing about the plot. Yeah. Uh, if it's possible to be unspoiled for a Super Nintendo game, here it is. Well, it absolutely is. I mean, I could... Heck, you could throw in um, uh, Metal Warrior. You'd be totally unspoiled, but that, that's because nobody knows that game. <laughs> and it's that a damn good. shame. What is this Metal Warriors... Ooh, okay, so your weapon skill has gone up. Mm. Hold down the attack button. Yes. <laughs> now, that... Every weapon, you can up your skill. Um, it is limited, and, you know, there are some downsides sometimes, like it will change your actual attack energy and your hitbox. Um, but it usually gives you a lot more power. And it, as you know, you can actually hit multiple enemies with a swing. Yeah, as long as they're in the area. Yeah. Does your attack power improve? Yes. Okay. Once you level up, um, you will get stats. Off limits. I totally didn't come from there. Don't worry about it. that you can level your weapons up. Um, you start off only being able to get your weapon level up, your weapon charge level, I should say, up to a certain point, and then as the game goes on, you'll improve that. Now, I'm not going to explain how yet, but it, we will get that. Yeah. 
Uh, if you ever need to access your menu, hit, um, uh, yeah, but hit X or Y. Candy! I found a Twix! Yeah, that'll heal you. Alright, so... So now hit up and down. So that's candy. You don't need it right now because you're at full health. Mm -hmm. Now this is your stats. So actually go go to um, your stats real quick. Okay. <laughs> so this is this is because you got um, that hit percent is deceptively high. <laughs> um, but no, like so you're you're a tough dude, but you're not very smart. Comparatively speaking. So you mean just my normal real life? Yeah. I'm really tough and really strong. <laughs> Alright. Now, um, as you, since there are the multiple characters, if I wasn't playing one, which, you know, I'll be playing one when we get there, mm -hmm. you use that menu to give them commands. And so there's, um... Basically, you can either open your menu or one of their menus. Mm, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Then that way you're sort of just controlling both characters at once. Okay. Yeah. So you set their attack patterns. Mm -hmm. And you can technically do it for yourself if you want to switch. Because mm -hmm. you're not limited to being the one. Okay, we're getting the business. Except for that guy who is actually a legitimate businessman. Yeah. Good for you for feeling capitalism. Don't think you can buy anything just for What the hell? Do I have How much money do I have? Um. Uh, go back to your stats real quick. Yeah. 38 GP. Yeah. There's, no, there's nothing to buy. Yeah. I just have this terrible sword. And the power of heart. <laughs> oh my god, just come back! <laughs> this dark sword tells me to cut. <laughs> Why, yes, I am in my second year. Why do you ask? This burning sword of mine goes red. <laughs> its roaring grass tells me to seize victory. <laughs> we are giant, giant nerds. <laughs> Excuse me, Geezer. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, guys. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will die first. So, in one of my young playthroughs of this game, I, I input my name for the main character. <laughs> so there was a slight confused moment when Timothy was arguing with Tim. <laughs> different nicknames, two yeah. completely different people. Well, did I ever tell you about the time when I was in college and my good friend and a uh, person who lived in the same dorm and on the same hall as me was also named Tim. <laughs> no. It was, we didn't have nicknames. There, there was no, Tim. yeah, there was no Big Tim, Little Tim. Um, but nobody, we never got confused for each other. Mm. Like, people would just say Tim and we would know. <laughs> and it's not like, you know, we had, we had the same group of friends. Outsider. Technically an outsider, but you will see. It will be explained to you very shortly. Shit. And then there's creepy guy coming out of the end. Yep. Well, 
up until your first boss fight. You're gonna get your face wrapped. Oh no, you are. This, this guy is, technically speaking, uh, way above your pay grade. You are... Whoa! It is not unlikely that you might die in this fight. So, how do I get off? Uh, just keep mashing buttons. And don't be afraid to charge up. <laughs> nice. Well, the maximum bar will take Remember, hold down the button. Yeah. So, should I use the Nope. Oh, I'm trying so hard. Like I said, you're going to die. But it's entirely fine! Because you've got infinite uh, resurrections in this one. Uh, this guy does have some magic. You can't do that attack. The good news is if you keep holding the path when you recover, it's charging. Yes, you can also attack up and down. So you don't have to get on either side, you can attack up and down with your charge. Do I just have to... Just point yourself up. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. This is gonna be rough. Stay away until you get ever doing his arms like uh, they're both up in front of his face, mm -hmm. then he's blocking. Like that. Like I said, he is deliberately way too tough. I have seen this fight done without, you know, taking any damage, but that was... If, if you see the uh, spell attack prompt, mm -hmm. um, don't worry about attacking, just run. I don't think the, uh, the animation is quite that there. There you go! Yay! I think that might be a very good place to put uh, the stopping point for an episode, but we'll keep going mm. for... That's really nice sprite animation. Oh, yeah. oh this, this this entire game and its quasi sequel are gorgeous. Which quasi sequel? Secret of Evermore. Oh yeah, that's right, the one made by Square USA. Mm-hmm. And then of course there its actual sequels, which are also bloody gorgeous. <laughs> uh Second and Setsu 3, Legend of Mana, um X of Mana, yeah. other thing of Legend. mana. The browser game with Mama. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't talk about that one. <laughs> You're like eight! <laughs> Feel a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Listen, four-year-old child. You must go out on this adventure. Only you can save the world. You have to be on. I've gotta go. I'm sorry for putting this part of you, but I've gotta- I have an appointment. Yeah. I, I have to get my, uh, hair replatinum. The dentist. I'm trying to 50 bucks if you late. You know how many rabbits that is? <laughs> 